So today we're announcing a very important initiative, uh, important for UCLA certainly, but also important for Los Angeles and we think important for the world. UCLA is launching in close cooperation with the city of Los Angeles the first of six grand challenge projects that we'll be announcing over the next few years. This particular grand challenge deals with the environment and sustainability. Thus we're calling it Thriving in a Hotter Los Angeles. And although the project will focus on developing solutions right here in Los Angeles, and we have a laser-like focus on the issues right here, we believe the initiative is going to serve as a model for other major cities around the country, indeed around the world. It's now a question of uh, severe sustainability, but it could become an issue of survivability if we fail to act. So we all collectively have to act, and we have to act soon. So we must do that before it's too late. So now I'd like you to take a look at a short video, which I had a chance to preview, that I think is really inspiring, that we believe really uh, transmits the critical importance of this Grand Challenge project, along with our sense of optimism that we will be successful. So thank you and enjoy the video. That's why we're pursuing other grand challenges, like making solar energy as cheap as coal, or making electric vehicles as affordable as the ones that run on gas. They're ambitious goals, but they're achievable. And we're encouraging companies and research universities and other organizations to get involved and help us make progress. I think people have a sense that we are having a huge impact on the environment. There is a, probably a sense that these changes are irreversible, and I think people are afraid. You know, one reaction to that fear is to shut down and not think about it. And another reaction, in some cases, to deny that these changes are happening. <laughs> I think fear creates all kinds of reactions. So this is about addressing that and making people recognize that the future can be bright. I'm a curious engineer, and I think I'm always looking to solve the real hard problems. And what we're doing is taking some uh, appliances like refrigerators, dryers, air conditioners, and we're adding electronics to these existing appliances, and we're putting them in, in UCLA dorms. We have the mindset, we have the people, we have the campus. Let's harness the sun's energy directly into the grid. We'll be burning less fossil fuels. Let's store that energy in electric vehicles at night when we don't need to use that energy. Now you drive your car into work in the daytime and you can power your grid from your car. I already have an EV that you can charge at night and discharge into the grid in the daytime. I think that for someone like me, an engineer, we need to make a difference. I want to make a difference. chose engineering not because it was easy, but because it was hard. Um, uh, you know, I'm probably not the smartest guy, I'm not the best guy at, at math, and I knew that at a very young age. Uh, but I thought these other things were, were relatively easy. Engineering was the thing that was, was hardest for me to try to, to do well. I thought, well, then that's the thing I should try to do. I have a, a strong engineering sense that um, I can break down complex problems, I can identify where the, where the real hinge points are uh, in a problem where if you can understand it and then you can change it, that now the game really changes. It's really the art of, of turning a problem into a solution. As a kid in rural San Diego County, I could see the chaparral and hear coyotes at night. And it was just beautiful. 
then one day I woke up and there was the sound of a bulldozer. And I went out and looked and there was a bulldozer operator scraping the bottom of the canyon, scraping all of the vegetation. It was an absolutely uh, searing experience to watch them rip this place apart. I went down into that canyon and begged that bulldozer operator to stop. I do what I do because I think that we've reached the end of the viability of that land development model. My entire life has been driven by protection of the environment. You know, it's not any one thing. It's really a little bit of everything, and that's why it's so important to have a wide array of expertise on the Grand Challenge team really taking on LA sustainability. The other thing that I, I really love about this project, it's not just UCLA. It's only gonna work as a grand challenge if we partner with the city of Los Angeles, if we partner with the business community, if we partner with Los Angeles County. There's almost a sense of, I don't, I don't wanna call it urgency, but there's maybe a sense of need to collaborate now because these challenges that we're taking on are so complex and so big. I am very optimistic that we can make Los Angeles a better place. We could do things so much better and so much more beautifully for us. If you don't believe that you can make the impossible possible, you know, you, you won't. Well, to start off, we're taking on the greatest challenge of our time, climate change and all the resource problems caused by it. And UCLA will start working together on the challenge in our own backyard here in the Los Angeles region. We cannot meet these challenges without the efforts of our incredible researchers and the collaboration of our friends in Los Angeles County, in the city, the business community, NGOs, and so much more. UCLA's strength and innovation will lead to a transformation of the Los Angeles region to become a global urban sustainability leader. Uh, UCLA can play uh, and must play the key role in bringing all of the stakeholders together to solve the problems and the challenges that we face as a, as a society and as, as an ecosystem uh, over the course of uh, the next half century. Uh, this is, uh, failure to do this uh, would be a malpractice on our part as human beings. We have to face up to, uh, to the challenges that, that uh, confront us and uh, they are substantial. Thank you to Chancellor Block, my very good friends and philanthropists, Tony and Jeannie Pritzker, the one and only Mark Gold from the Institute of the Environment and Sustainability, and the countless professors and staff that all work together to make this grand challenge possible. My administration and I personally look forward to working closely with UCLA on this first exciting challenge, which will move our city forward towards water, locally produced, and renewable power. Locally. What UCLA is doing here today is saying, let's dream together as an institution and as a community. Let's set a benchmark, let's put all our remarkable resources on it, and let's achieve it. If you don't have a map, you don't know where you're going, and you don't know when you've gotten there, this is going to provide all of that for us. Yeah. What happens in Los Angeles does not stay in Los Angeles, <laughs> on Las Vegas. I'm not exaggerating to say that UCLA's grand challenge will echo around the world. Today you've thrown down a gauntlet, but tomorrow the rest of the world will pick it up and join you on our quest for a safer, more sustainable, and more biodiverse world. So I thank you for everything that you're doing. This is the, the most exciting project I've heard about in my lifetime, and I thank everyone associated with it for moving it forward. Thank you. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about the bigger picture. Um, you know, we are excited about the concept of Grand Challenges also because they will hopefully inspire more students to complete their science, technology, engineering, and math degrees, and also help those in other disciplines understand how to 
work across discipline lines to solve these problems. Uh, one of the things that's so exciting to me about it as a former Bruin is the fact that I'm seeing this collaboration across North and South campus. Um, <laughs> that, that transfer of ideas across disciplines research shows that that's where the true breakthroughs come, is at the borders, where we can share ideas with each other about how to reach those big goals in a way we might not have thought of previously. I think this is not just going to be a local effort, it's gonna be one that can uh, cross outside of UCLA and impact the world's decisions related to sustainability as you achieve these breakthroughs in R&D.